Welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning how to tell the time on a 24 hour clock. Hi Niall. What's the main difference between a 12 hour clock and a 24 hour clock? On a 12 hour clock you would say AM and PM but on a 24 hour clock you wouldn't. Okay. So how would you say 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a 12 hour clock? 2pm. Very good. But when it's a 24 hour clock it's a bit different. How would you say 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a 24 hour clock? 1400 hours. 1400 hours. So that sounds quite different to what we're used to. So let's have a look how it works. Can you go through the times from 1 o'clock in the morning on a 12 hour clock so it starts at 1 a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. 6 a.m. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 9 a.m. 10 a.m. 11 a.m. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. and what happens at 12 p.m.? What time of the day is that? It's the afternoon. So that's when midday is and that's when the afternoon starts. You're absolutely correct. So after 12 p.m. it goes to? 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 a.m. 12 a.m. How else can we say 12 a.m.? Midnight. Midnight. Okay, brilliant. So what happens, can you tell us what just happened at a 12 hour clock with AM and PM? Um, so we, so the first 12 hours, you would say um, AM, and then after 12 o'clock, which is midday, you would say PM. Okay, but you're using the same numbers, 1 to 12, both um, times. Yes. Yeah. So what happens when we do the 24 hour clock now? Do we use the numbers 1 to 12 or no? Um, no, we use um, 1 to, no, 0 to 23. To 23, so don't we not use 24? No, even though there are, there are 24 hours in a clock, it's like minutes, there are only 59 minutes until the next hour. There are only 23 hours until the next day. Oh, can I tell you something quite interesting? What? Some people do say 2400 hours. We'll have a look at that in do a minute. They? Yes, they do. Okay, now let's do some conversion from 12 hour to 24 hour. Five o'clock in the morning. How do you say it on a 12 hour clock? 5 a.m. And how would you say 5 o'clock in the morning on a 24 hour clock? Oh, 0500 hours or 0, 0500 hours. Okay, so why did you put a 0 in front of the 5? Um, because there always has to be two digits um, when we're using a 24 hour clock. So we need to have two digits for the hours, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so how would you say 7 o'clock in the morning on a 12 hour clock. 7 a.m. And how would you say 7 o'clock in the morning on a 24 hour clock? Um, oh, 700 hours. Good. How would you say half past 9 in the morning on a 12 hour clock? 9.30 a.m. And how would you say half past 9 in the morning on a 24 hour clock? Oh, 0930. Oh, 0930. And what's in between the 09 and the 30? A colon. A colon. So we have the same colon that we use in the 12 hour clock. Dot. Dot. Correct. Okay. Now it starts getting interesting when we get to midday. So how would you say 1159? in the morning on a 12 hour clock? Um, 11.59 in the morning, 11.59 a.m. And how would you say it on a 24 hour clock? 11.59. Good. 
at 12 o'clock midday. How do you say it? On a 12 o'clock. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. So that's when the afternoon starts, right? Yes, and sometimes it can get confusing when, like, in a maths question and they put um, 12 p.m., sometimes you would think it's midnight. Can I tell you that's another reason we use the 24-hour clock so that we don't get the times between midday and midnight confused? Yeah. Okay, so you said midday is 12 p.m. on the 12-hour clock. What is it on the 24-hour clock? 1,200 hours. Brilliant. Now we go on to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So how do you say 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a 12-hour clock? 1 p.m. Good. But what happens on the 24-hour clock now? It goes over 12 and it turns into 13. So how do you hours. say it? 1,300 hours. 1,300 hours. And 2 o'clock in the afternoon? On a 24-hour clock it would be 1,400 hours. 3 o'clock? 1,500 hours. 4 o'clock? 1,600 hours. 5 o'clock? 1,700 hours. 6 o'clock? 1,800 hours? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, and it continues. Okay, what's the fastest way to work it out? For example, if I wanted to know what 5 p.m. on the 24-hour clock is, what would you do? Um, I would just add 12 and 5 add 12 is 17, so it would be 1,700 hours. Brilliant. Very, very simple. So if I said to you, what is 8 p.m. on the 24-hour clock? Um, well, 12 and 8 is 20, so you, it would be 20 hundred hours. Excellent. What about 11 p.m. on the 24-hour clock? Um, it would be... Um, 23 hundred hours. Okay, Todd, share the calculation with us. Um, so you would just add 12. So 12 plus 11 is 23, so 23 hundred hours. Yeah. It's very, very simple to change from 12 hour to 24 hour. So how would you say 2.30 in the afternoon on a 24 hour clock? Um, so you would do 2 add 12, which is 14, so it would be 14 and then 30, so 14.30. Very good, Niall, very good. Now let's talk about when it starts getting towards midnight. So it is 11.59 at night. How do we write that on the 24 hour clock? Um, so we do 11 plus 12 which is 23, so it would be 23.59. Very good. And what happens when it gets to midnight now? Um, it becomes zero, 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 zero. So let's discuss that for a minute. It does, you're absolutely correct, because the next day is starting. Yeah, or oh, has started. Yes, but isn't it also the end of the first day? Yeah. So can I just say to you that we can use 2400 hours to suggest that it's the end of the first day. Or we could use zero o'clock. Or we can use zero hundred hours. To say that it's the start of the next day. Yes, yeah, so they're both correct. Okay, brilliant. Okay, now what about if we were changing from twenty-four hours to twelve hour clock? For example, seventeen hundred hours. What time is that using the twelve hour clock? Um, five p.m. And so basically you just take away 12 and then add a.m. or p.m. if you're changing it to a 12 hour clock. Okay, so you've done 17, take away 12. And then put a.m. or p.m. Okay, and how do you know off. it's p.m.? Um, if it's in the afternoon. Okay, because it's gone past 1300 hours. So that's yeah. when we know we're in the afternoon. Well, actually 1200 hours. Very good. Good correction, thank you, Nile. What would 1900 hours be on a 12 hour clock, Nile? 
1900 hours would be 7 p.m. and because 19 is past the 1200 hours um, it would be in the afternoon and when it's in the afternoon on a 12 hour clock we would put um PM yeah. and I took away 12. You took away 12 from what? From 19. And that's why you got 7. Yeah, yeah I got 7. Okay, so can we do one more of those? Okay. 2200 hours. Can you change that to the 12 hour clock? Um, that will be that will be 10 pm. Um, and so we do 22 take away 12, which is 10. Um, and then we put PM because it's past um, 1200 hours. Very good. So, what is 0700 hours in the 12 hour clock? Uh, 0700 hours. That will be 7 a.m. Um, I just, well, I just got the 7 and put it turned it into a.m. and because it's not past under 12. So what's the difference with the a.m. on the 12 hour clock compared to 24 hour clock? So let's look at the time 7 o'clock in the morning. What's the main difference? Um, you would put a.m. on the 12 hour clock and you wouldn't on the um, 24 hour clock. And there's something else we would do on the 24 hour clock. You would put a zero in front. That's it. So the time, when it's a.m., it looks the same, apart from not having the a.m., when if it's 24 yeah. hour, and not having a zero if it's 12 hour. Yeah. Very good, Niall. One last benefit, Niall, of the 24 hour clock, we can work out the difference between times very easily. For example, if I say to you, how many hours between 1000 hours and 1300 hours? Um, three. Because you can just take away 10 from 13 and it's three. Yeah. So what's the difference between all 900 hours and 1700 hours? Um, so we take away nine from 17, which is eight, so eight hours. So the difference is eight hours. What's the difference between all 100 hours and 2300 hours? Um, 22 hours. How did you work it out? I just took away one from 23. Which is 22, so that's quite easy. Are you ready for a quiz? Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five o'clock in the morning, twelve hour clock. Um, five o'clock in the morning, twelve hour clock. Ah, five a.m. Two o'clock in the afternoon, twenty four hour clock. Fourteen uh, 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 fourteen hundred hours. Okay. Eight thirty in the morning, twelve hour clock. Eight thirty a.m. Ten. 25 in the morning, 12 hour clock. One sec. Uh, 10.25 a.m. 2.30 in the afternoon, 12 hour clock. 2.30 p.m. That's very good, Snyder. <laughs> 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 24 hour clock. 4.16 p.m. 1600 hours. Let me see it again. <laughs> Four o'clock in the afternoon, 24 hour clock. 1600 hours. Seven o'clock in the afternoon, 24 hour clock. 1900 hours. Very good. How do you say midnight in the 24 hour clock? Um, 2400 hours or 0 hours. Very good, and I remember that one. Last question. <laughs> what is 2335 in the 12 hour clock? 23 um, uh, 11.35 pm. Very good night. And that comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did subscribe now, bye! Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Bye! Bye! Thank <laughs> you.